everyone you're welcome my name is bukumi bk crowd so guys we're going to be checking out something different this time around and the title of the video is the greatest woman spoken word so let's check it out you know something must be wrong when almost every single song has sex as its basis when rap stars get famous after making lyrics that are shameless when a woman is expected to sleep with a man who doesn't even know what her name is and when artists are paid to degrade the very woman that have made them to the point they are nothing more than pieces of plastic that we can dispose of once they are no longer attractive it's sickening and sadistic that this world's become so misogynistic and you can call me unrealistic but just listen to the statistics 7 in 10 men view porn while over 75 million are addicted 68 million requests a day for pornographic pictures making 1 in 4 searches sexually related it's like nobody even knew she existed until she got naked degraded and abused over and over again just to gain millions of views it's a shame we've subdued to a definition of beauty which is so misconstrued as we judge each other's looks off of facebook likes Instagram pictures to filter off what we really look like see we are so obsessed with our outside we have slowly lost sight of who we really are in real life I mean it's sad to see so many teens lose their self-esteem looking at these magazines thinking they have to look like what they see please you are worth much more than a 2d image on a screen you are a living breathing human being if only you knew what you really mean wow 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 this is full of wisdom i can actually relate to this rap song it's something that is happening in this generation it's something that people are doing what is one that people are going through just imagine him talking about a lot of people that are popular now do all this nude videos and everything do we have to do all those things just to get recognized you will notice that people involved with involved in all these bad bad things than good things good things doesn't spread as much as how bad things spread even news when it comes to news bad news spread easily than good news when good news come unless if you are a celebrity you're popular and you give some good news people might you know spread it around for you but most especially when bad news come up like breakup or something happen to someone any bad news spread easily it's passing a message to a lot of people that are involved in you know bad things that are involved in things that that doesn't suit their personality that doesn't suit themselves just because they want to impress people or, or just because society are doing that you want to involve in that it's just a powerful message and i'm really really enjoying it let's keep watching guys just look in your history books and begin to read of all the girls in the world who are capable to achieve and you will surely see with certainty Females mm. like Fatim Al Fihri who opened the first ever university, Rufaid Al Aslamiya, the first nurse to perform surgery, and Haisha bint Abi Bakr, the greatest female scholar in eternity. It's a shame you probably haven't even heard of these great female prodigies. Honestly, we don't need to give up our modesty in order to be successful. For you are worth much more than a commodity that is sexual. You have so much more potential if only you knew your worth. You could be like the greatest of all women to have walked this earth. Like Mary, the mother of Jesus. Chosen by Allah to be an example for the believers. A woman who stood strong even when she was abused. Falsely accused and ridiculed for things she'd never ever do. So it didn't really matter when there was nobody else beside her. For she knew that God was Al razaq and her ultimate provider. And she had a trust in him alone. Just like Asiya, the wife of Fir'aun, a woman who was brave and courageous, stood up for what was right and didn't let anybody change this. A woman who was fearless and laughed in the face of death, for she gave up the riches of this life for a palace in the next. 
Next up, Khadija, the mother of the believers, a wealthy merchant who had nurtured the Prophet for over 25 years, his first wife, the love of his life, and the mother of his kids. She was the first to believe in him when nobody else ever did. She just is beyond any words that can make you understand. So much so that even Allah sent her his salam. She was grand and Allah assured her. Just like her daughter, mm. Fatima. Mm, this is really a spoken word. Ah, this is powerful. This is powerful. It, I don't know why some people, I don't know why that some people always have low self-esteem. Why do you have to do something that you yourself, you will not be proud of yourself doing it? Why do you have to do something just because the society are doing it? Just be yourself. Just be you, who you are. You don't have to... You, have to, you don't have to follow the trend. You don't have to do what other people are doing. Just because they are doing it, let me also try it. It's not wrong. It's not right. What is wrong is wrong. When you know that something is wrong, don't try to involve in it. And I love the fact that he actually uh, recited some Bible verses. He spoke about Mary. He spoke about Mary. You know, all the tribulation Mary went through. And it was, she was really cool when she was even pregnant for Jesus. How people looked down eh? and all those things. But she never lost hope. She never, you know change who she was she was being real she was being herself she never misbehaved and he also made mention of some big big you know woman of god in quran and in bible this this is just powerful and i'm really really learning a lot and this is really touching wow beautiful let's keep watching guys the master of all women in paradise a woman who would shine so bright she was nicknamed as zahra the splendid one with the most generous of hearts a woman who gave up so much of her food she had no choice but to fast she would fight on behalf of her father even as a little girl and such are the examples of the greatest woman in the entire world and it had nothing to do with how they looked but for who they truly were so ignore the standard of success defined by society when god has said that the best of mankind are those who have piety, regardless of your shape, your color, or your race. For God does not look at your bodies, nor does He look at your face. Rather, He mm. looks towards your heart and checks your faith. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the people say or who they think you are, when you can be like the greatest of all women in mm. the eyes of Allah. Greatest of all women in the eyes of Allah. This guy is, is a Muslim and I love the way he delivered this message. And this particular video speaks to women, speaks to ladies that are not okay with themselves. Out of prayer pressure, they want to try things. They think, oh, their body is not okay. Their skin is not okay. People are not liking me because of my body. No, don't body shame yourself. Don't look down on yourself. Don't be who you are not. Don't try to fit into someone else's lifestyle be yourself and you you get there it might be tough now things might be difficult now but with hard work with diligence with prayer with faith you get there you don't have to you know involve in bad things before you get there before you become successful no you are what's more than that be yourself be who you are if you are who you are people that will like you for who you are will stay people that don't like for who you are let them go then they don't want you they don't want to be in your life so this was really good i really enjoyed this video and i also enjoyed the part where it spoke about no your race does not matter your skin does not matter your color does not matter we are all one just believe in yourself and you achieve greatness that's the important thing i really enjoy watching this video guys so it's really full of wisdom so guys that's all i have for you in this particular video don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you've not done so i'll see you guys in my next video catch you